Hello, this is uh, Dave and uh, welcome uh, to Equity Story. I hope you're you're well and uh, enjoying this volatile market. And obviously this is just a general share advice and not personal advice. Um, I think, you know, again, I've got to try and focus because focus on the, the stocks, the ones where possibly we can make some money. And what we saw overnight, OPEC, uh, they've cut production of oil by uh, 2 billion barrels a day. Um, it's just another thing that's supported, supported for the oil price uh, moving forward. And um, and you know what? The charts haven't let us down for very, very rarely in the past, have they? So if you look at Woodside, what's what things so far this week is superb price action. Now, I know it's not Friday. I know it's not the close on Friday, but I do feel the momentum is there. I know we are near record highs. Uh, we've need, been near that 35 before. Are we going to go higher? Well, you know what? My general feeling is is we are. And I've always said, that really, Woodside, Santos are holes at the moment because I think they're in the right sector. But is it too late to get into Woodside if you're not in it? And I don't think it is, to be honest. I think uh, um, I'd be buying Woodside if I ha wasn't in it now. So I'm going to put Woodside on. On as as a trade, and it's going to be a buy at uh, around it is 34.79. I'm going to have a stop loss at um, maybe just below that 30, say 29, 29.90, just below. I mean it it hasn't broken trend all this year, so I think it's sensible to put our stop loss just below that. And initially we're going to target that 39.50. Uh, and look at it for maybe a, a four or five month trade. If we get there in a day, great. If we get there in a few weeks, great. But I think have that longer term approach. I think oil, you're definitely in the right section at the moment. And again, car, a little bit more risky, this stock in some ways, right? Because it's a, more of a, a little bit of a smaller, um, small cap. But um, interesting to see high target prices by a number of brokers. Now there are talks that maybe they might be acquiring something. And if they did, I don't know, that could uh, that could um, affect the trend a little bit because then maybe they do a little raise. I don't know. But at the moment, I like the look of it and I think we could have a go on it. So car, I think you could, you want to buy, try and buy it around that 2.11. Um, again, we're going to have a tighter stop on it just below that uh, 185, say 184. And firstly, our first target is going to be that... Uh, two dollars 45 so i think that's two really good trades and again what we're doing we're trading that we're trading the right sections aren't we uh ever most of this year we're looking for the coal plays looking for the oil plays you know the stocks that unfortunately are just being helped by um the inflation and stocks that are being helped by this obviously terrible war in in the ukraine um so two 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 trades have a look at if you want to trade them go for it i can understand a lot of people being nervous out there thinking dave you know what i'm still playing golf that's fine too but there's two trades and i think they could do reasonably well if you got a sort of medium term approach um there was a number of news a bit of news today and uh, i think uh the moral of the story is don't pick bottoms and again appen missing consensus uh missing their targets uh downgrading uh things sort of getting worse and worse and poor old appen and and again down another 15 percent and you know who would have thought that and this is why the charts are so important the charts got us out of this story at uh, 30 dollars and now it's down at two dollars 83. it's unbelievable really how stocks go from amazing highs to amazing lows and this is why the charts are so 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 important um, and again, don't pick bottoms. Picking bottoms, you get dirty fingers. Danger, danger, danger. Another, another um, is Magellan. Uh, again, losing funds under management. Another, I think, five billion. I mean, um, you know, it's disappointing for them because, like I said, I think they're a good company and uh, just uh, obviously are victims of this market at the moment and struggling. And um, you know, they are fairly heavy on their uh text plays and facebook and that's not doing very well and that you know they're sticking to their goals and that's 
their business and that's how they see it and some people are sticking with them but a lot of people are leaving them so it's unfortunate this was um yeah a company that was just trading you know when did this break trend well firstly it broke trend at 55 dollars then that recovered again if you got into it then you'd have been out definitely as soon as it broke trend here at uh, what 45 dollars and now it's down at 10. so like i said the charts don't lie and um again just stay stay well away and bring you back to the charts that don't lie atomos had an interesting announcement today and and that's really all it was is an interesting announcement they developed an 8k sensor camera and i'm not an expert on cameras although in this business we try and be an expert on everything but and sometimes fail dismally but it, it's giving a much better resolution very similar to a sort of uh more bigger cameras that they use in cinemas and this sort of stuff so it's really exciting and they've got a lot of people interested but it's just talk it's not revenue uh you've seen a little bump on the share price you know technically are you buying it no you know don't get carried away suddenly if you see stocks up 20 percent if they're under trend just don't just don't, you know get excited if they're above trend if they've got momentum in them but okay a little bump maybe if someone bought it yesterday i'll be selling today to be honest with you i wouldn't be uh holding it and uh again um uh, uh sort of um you know you just gotta you just gotta uh sort of stay well away from this stuff till we've got more and more news out of the company um pnv i thought that was a, a better announcement and they are above trend um they came and they're growing their revenue i think their first month of uh five million in revenue so it's it's their product is starting to sell and that's really great to see and it's really starting to good to see this company starting to to move um you know would i buy it uh, hmm. and that's the question i mean listen i don't mind the macd it's not too bad uh price action sort of just poked its little head up hasn't it it's all looking a little bit si exciting but I think, again, you know, what we try and do, we try and take the easy money, not the hard money. For me, I've still got two resistant lines above that. I've, I haven't got, it's not really swinging above trend. It just needs to do a little bit more. It needs to tick another box. Because remember, we're not in the business. So I'm not, I don't love PNV. We don't love these stories. We only want to try and go in them if we can make some money out of them. And this is really important. We've got to separate um, our love for stories and making money. And, uh, you know, we don't want to love any story. And I think every time, and we have failed in the past, I think sometimes with falling in love with a story and there's a, and uh, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it hasn't. But at the end of the day, we don't want to love stories. We want to trend and we want to get into good stories that are moving up. Um, LKE, uh, a good offtake agreement. Uh, I think told 10% uh, of their uh, company uh, with an offtake agreement. Uh, again it's in the right space but for me the chart is isn't doing enough so again me i'm i'm staying away from that one as well at the moment it just needs needs to do a little bit uh, a little bit more um we're having a little gold trend at the moment gold slightly down overnight i still think uh it's you know what's it's interesting isn't it when you go back to 2007 2006 gold went on a tremendous run up and so why did gold go on a tremendous run up in that time and what a lot of analysts believe gold isn't an inflation hedge but gold as well when governments around the world have issues and they start collapsing and infrastructure starts collapsing and you get war and you get and that's what we had didn't we the collect uh, the the debt crisis uh um in properties in america uh, there was, you know, best things went broken. There was a, the, the whole financial system was near, uh, was p potentially talk of it collapsing. And that's when gold started to have a massive, massive run. And I'm seeing the same things that we've got now. You're seeing all these issues, these little cockroaches coming out of the, you know, we've, we've seen now the issues with uh, some of the um, pension funds with their derivatives where they've been basically... Uh, um, taking out margins and margin loans and they've been leveraging themselves up to get those results in for those pension funds which they've had to do because of the ridiculously low interest rates over uh, the last few years those bonds have been low so they 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 risked a lot a lot of stuff and you can see now the interest rates are kind of are coming up this is all bubbling to the service and there's there's little things coming out left right and center 
and this is all this is just reminds me so much of just before the the gfc and again it's sort of worse than the gfc because you know we've got massive inflation around the world we've got war um you know very 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 scary times and, and it's interesting at the moment i think um what the, you're getting more short trading at the moment around the world than we've had for a very long time so maybe mums and dads are saying hang on this is not right there's problems here and everyone's trying to uh short um which again is not a good sign i think a lot of uh, hedge funds have got record shorts on at the moment so um you know tough times so i quite i do quite like the idea of gold i think yes uh, and gold in aussie terms is not what 200 dollars off record high so go gold and we put deg on uh and then cm and cm starting to move deg did a capital raise but what a strong raise it was i think they raised 130 million at uh eight percent below where they're trading big win very very impressive so go deg i think it puts a lot of support under the share price and um hopefully get some near into production and uh i'm liking little deg on on that result i thought it was excellent so if you're in deg hold it and if you're looking for a gold play like we said deg ncm possibly well worth having a look at um getting to em2 so eagle mountain again for those tr obviously it broke trend up here at 70 we gave it a little bit of leeway but we've had to get out of it but i do know some people are still in there so i'm having a look at the look at it um i um you know resource stocks are um how do you say very very reliant on having good people in, in involved and you know i think if i was still in em2 i'd still be holding it if i was going to um have my stop because at the end of the day you don't want to get out of the bottom um you should have been out here or you should have been out here but if you're still in it you don't want to get out of the bottom but you've got to get out you know maybe if it breaks 20 and then if i like the story i'd get back in as soon as it jumped above trend and i do like the story uh because um um again i'm not going to fall in love with the story but i like the story so as soon as i can see this get momentum i'm going to trend it um you know i think the people involved in the business and you know the more you look at this sort of resource industry yes you've got to have good pro projects but you've got to have good people in charge and it's the good people the ones that have got the reputations are the ones that really get these projects going and off the ground uh the announcement today uh today um they've obviously um uh, grown their resource they've got more drilling results that have come in outside the the uh, the actual um, project which looks very very good and so it looks like it's going to get bigger and bigger but I think you know the market is just saying okay we get the fact you've got lots of uh, copper but when are you going to get into production and they and that's what they are looking at doing and I think if you read the presentation they talk about uh, the pre-feasibility pre-feasibility studies on the way and it's just patience and um i think uh if you are still in this one just uh be patient with it like i said you've got to have a stop loss on everything uh but be patient with it and i think uh arguably hopefully uh over time uh, uh you'll be well rewarded for those people who've used the technicals and used the ctm and got out when it broke broke below trend really at the moment you've got the trend line coming down eventually this will bounce back over trend we'll see it swing we like the story and then if we still like the story because we'll keep we all keep checking the story then we'd put it as a buy because i think it, it's got good people in it it's got a lot of copper um and uh, it could be a great little copper play uh going forward so uh just watch the space and uh and hopefully that that, that uh, could be a good one for the future um and obviously boe again got their uh license to um mine uh, uranium um in let me just get this up actually have a look at it one second uh they got key approval for restart at honeymoon uranium project so uh that's in the south australian department of energy and mining has approved the company's updated program for environment protection and rehabilitation at its honeymoon uranium project so good news and you can see why it's holding their trend quite nicely and i think definitely if you're in that stock uh you'd be you'd be holding it um you know i don't normally do this but i normally talk about the markets first but you can see the markets are 
just having a little bit of a pause last night. So the markets have had a little bit of a bump up on the fact that suddenly, I don't know where it comes from, maybe because the RBA here, people believe the RBA here was going to pivot. I don't know. They're suddenly thinking that maybe the Fed were going to pivot. Well, there's no sign of that at the moment because I think they had some decent numbers coming out of America last night. And so everyone's going, really? You know, I don't think uh, these job numbers, they still look pretty strong in America. I don't think... Uh, you, you slow this down enough and it, I, it actually must be really difficult for the fed to slow this American economy down with i think uh the biden government the way they're sort of um i don't know giving so much free money around and you know giving uh uh um, all the student loans just write them off i mean all that does is it just makes it harder for the fed and creates just more inflation but um you know not only are the fed in fighting inflation they're also fighting possibly the most incompetent uh government domestically and in foreign policy america has ever ever had so um you know i i think i'm more of a democrat really than a republican i know wolfie would say no dave you're you're bloody you're a you're a trump lover right but um i don't think i, I think i am i think you know i want you know i see a lot of, but this democratic uh, party uh, this biden government i mean the guy's delusional. I mean, yeah, we know he's got problems. We know he doesn't really know who he is, but he's he's um, uh, you know, the policies and the, and what he's doing in Ukraine. You know, why enough? If anyway, I'm not going to go there. I will maybe I'll wait till Wolf's get back so we can stir him up a little bit. Um, but apart from that, have a good day. Um, we got a little trade trading ideas. Have a look at them, and. Uh, just be careful out there. Again, like I said, it's a bit of a minefield. Thank you very much for listening to Equity Story and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.